Hello, I'm Sarah Ward and I live in Evesham. My son uh, Rowan has Asperger's um, and high functioning autism. Uh, he struggles with a lot of social communications, he struggles with a lot of um, foods, um, washing, hygiene. He has a lot of issues about going outside and he has to be with someone he knows. And one of the main issues was the bathroom. He didn't like the bathroom window because it opened that way. Um, so he was always shutting the blind, closing the windows, wouldn't have the windows open. They've changed that one now for one that opens out the other way. So it makes it more suitable for him, really. I also have a daughter named Ashley. She gets on well with her brother, although they have the odd argument. So having two children and being on my own is quite difficult, yes. Owning your own home makes it more difficult to be able to afford things like windows and doors. The window locks had broke, the, some of the panes were letting air in and water was getting in. Um, they were drafty. If they opened, they didn't shut. If they shut, they didn't open. Um, basically just very old windows. Also, we had an issue with fire escapes because the windows weren't set to safety. Um, so, and that was quite important with young children in the house to make sure that fire safety is covered. What was preventing me having the work done was lack of funds. Um, just could not afford to do it at this time. Initially we were just looking at doing the bathroom window, um, obviously to make it easier for Rowan, but Help Dubai was so wonderful they came out and said no we'll do all of your windows. Um, when you're owning your own home, um, obviously you're having to pay out for your mortgages and all your other stuff. I find it frustrating sometimes when they council houses, you go in, you get your kitchen given to you, your bathroom, your windows, your boilers, everything's done for you. But when you've bought your home, if you're suddenly pushed into disablement, you can't get any help from anybody. You know, nobody wants to know you, nobody wants to help you. You're just bottom of the pile and not so important anymore. I saw the advert on Facebook. Um, when I read through the comments, I was mortified to see a lot of people making comments, negative comments. Um, and a lot of people asking if anybody had been through this and yeah I've been through it and I've said on Facebook I've been through it it's it's great I was skeptical when I first saw the advert on Facebook um, because people just don't give things away normally and usually these things are on Facebook you think yeah of course but no it was true help to buy did pay for all my windows they didn't charge me a penny uh, they didn't make me make this video, they asked me if I wanted to do a video, which I said I was quite happy to do. The new windows are really nice. Now uh, we can get out safely in events of fires, we can use the windows, open the windows. Um, they cut down the traffic noise as well, I've noticed on the road. I thought it was going to be a headache, but no it wasn't. It was very easy to work with help device. They were very friendly, they were very efficient, they did it quickly, they didn't cause me any stress. I would like to thank everybody who helped to buy the customers, the staff, they were all very wonderful for all their help under the new grant scheme and getting me the windows that we needed um, to make my son more comfortable in his own home. Thank you. Help to buy really do help people, they really get out there, they do what they say they're going to do. Um, they do the job, they do it quickly, they do it efficiently. Um, it was only like a week before somebody turned up and then they were there sorting it all out for me. I didn't have to do anything.